guys, it's Jasmine, and today I'm going to be telling the story of how I told my parents that I was pregnant at 17. I'm still pregnant, but I'm 18 now, <laughs> but I told them when I was 17. Okay, anyway, before I start, I wanted to say thank you for being here. Um, literally four days ago, I was still at 6,000 subscribers, and as of this moment, I'm at 9.9k, which is really crazy to me. It happened so fast, so I just wanted to say thank you for being here if you're new, and if you're old, of course, thank you all. <laughs> and also, my hair is bad today. Just putting that out there, too. <laughs> I found out that I was pregnant on the night of August 28th, or the morning of August 29th. It was 1am, so I'm technically going to say the night of August 28th, when I took a pregnancy test, and it was positive, and I knew it was going to be positive, but I talk about that in a whole different video if you want to go check that out. It's how I found out I was pregnant. So anyway, um, that night me and Noah just kind of took it in and processed it ourselves. But the next morning, me being the person I am, I just really can't keep things to myself. I don't know how to hide big things like that and I really wouldn't want to hide big things like that, like a pregnancy. I just didn't want to hide it. I'd feel really guilty and I just, I'm not able to just hold it in like someone else might be able to. Like I know people hide it for months and months, but it was the next day and it was already eating me alive. But my biggest fear was telling my mom because my mom is kind of scary when it comes to stuff like that because my, she was a teen mom. So my whole life, um, it was kind of, I knew I shouldn't get pregnant as a teenager. Um, but I did, so I was scared to tell her. So anyway, the morning of August 29th comes around, and I'm already knowing that I have to tell her that day. So I texted her asking her when she was going to be off work, and um, I think it was five or six. I think it was six. Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't matter. So I texted her asking her why she's going to be off work, and then she told me, and she was like, why? And I said, I'm just wondering... But then she like knew something was up because she was like, why? And I was like, oh, I just want to ask you something. I just want to tell you something. Because I didn't want to make it obvious. Like, I didn't want to tell her over text. That's, I just didn't, I don't know. It seemed kind of rude to me to do over text. I wanted to do it in person to kind of like see the reaction, I guess. I don't know. You know? But she would not let up. And she was like, what? Like, trying to get it out of me. And I was like nothing and I finally said nothing there's just something that I need to tell you like but I don't want to tell you over text so can you just wait and I kept saying can you just wait because she kept saying like Jasmine you can't just tell me that like I'm freaking out now and I was like mom please just wait I would like to tell you in person and she didn't wait and she ended up saying oh my god you're not pregnant are you and then like freaking out and I said I'm sorry I told you I wanted to wait and tell you in person um, but yes. Basically, um, I try and block this out because I don't like remembering it. She was very upset, angry, and disappointed, and I hate making my parents disappointed. That was the main thing, I just hate disappointing them, um, because I feel like I never do anything that's so extreme that I disappoint them, so I was really afraid to see the reaction and it was not a good reaction at all um I was crying like the whole time I was texting her I don't really want to say what she said it wasn't like get out of my house like I'm disowning you it was just she was really disappointed um she just couldn't believe that I did that she said that I was um ruining my future and like I expected this reaction so I'm not saying that she was wrong to say that um she raised me so in her eyes it was it's just it was a bad thing so anyway we have that whole conversation I'm basically apologizing the whole time um because I feel felt terrible and the whole day was really hard for me it was upsetting and the next I knew I had to tell my dad and I didn't want to because that's a whole nother thing especially because I got a bad reaction from my mom I was like oh my god no, I don't want to tell my dad um but I had to do that too so I was sitting in my room and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to call him because I don't live with my dad. So I was like, all right, well, I just need to call him because I don't want to do it over text again. Even though I was scared and I kind of wanted to do it over text at this point, I just didn't. That's not like 
my thing I didn't want to so as I was sitting there I'm kind of telling myself call him just do it just do it just call and I'm like trying to convince myself and he calls me so I'm like oh my god if this isn't a sign I don't know what is so I pick up and I started crying right away I was like hello and he was like hi Jazz like what's up and I was like um I have to tell you something and then uh, I was like I don't know how to tell you I don't want to say it and basically both my parents just knew because he was like he said like what are you pregnant or something and I said yeah and then he was just like my dad had a way better reaction <laughs> my dad was like okay well um stuff like this happens like you're gonna get through it um you know like you you and your boyfriend have been together for almost two years stuff like this happens um we just didn't know when and basically it was a better reaction than I was expecting because I was kind of expecting another like really negative reaction but his reaction was calm luckily it made me feel a lot better I don't think I would have been able to handle another negative reaction and usually I feel like girls expect their dad to be the bad one their mom to be like the good one about it but mine are opposite and I knew it would be like that but I was really scared still. It's kind of a hard thing to just come out and say. But anyway, fast forward, um, we had that conversation and then my mom got home um, and we went outside to talk and she seemed to calm down. She's still upset. Um, it took her like a week to kind of accept it. The whole week she was really upset about it. Um, but yeah, when she came home, we were talking about it and she was basically like, how are you gonna finish school? And I like had thought about all this stuff throughout the day because it was kind, it was concerning stuff for me too. Like I wasn't just like, oh yeah, whatever. I was thinking about all that stuff as well because I knew I wanted to keep the baby, so I had thought of all this stuff. And she did ask if I was planning on keeping the baby, and I said like, yes, I'm keeping it. Um, she wanted me to like keep my options open, but at the end of the day, she wanted me to keep it too. Um, so it was a really hard day, and for the whole week I was really upset that she was still upset at me. Um, because usually when I like fight with my mom, it's like for like an hour, and then it's like whatever. But yeah, she was upset at me for like a whole week, and then um, she accepted it. She still wasn't like happy about it for a long time, but now, now she is. Um, I'm 30 weeks pregnant, and she's been excited about it for like longer than the just like she was excited about it a long time ago just not at the very beginning which is very understandable I'm young so I didn't expect um, people to have reactions like oh my god like the, the reaction you would want if you were pregnant I knew that I wasn't gonna get that but I also don't think I got the worst reactions in the world because my whole family is supportive now um, and excited and then basically I mean that was that she was upset for a little while but she's happy now and my dad was kind of like um, happy about it from the beginning, like concerned for me, but happy about it. And then, um, I can just say how I told my brother. Um, I showed him a picture of a pregnancy test and he went, oh my god, no! He thought it was my mom's and he, he was like, I don't want another sibling. And I said, whose do you think this is? And he said, mom's. And I said, no, it's mine. And then he was like, oh, well, that's better. And I was like, what? Like, what? So, <laughs> I don't know. That was his reaction. And then, um, the rest of my family, um, my mom kind of told, um, I never really had to come out and say, like, I'm pregnant, um, which I'm glad about because I'm really nervous about stuff like that, but now everyone's excited to meet him and no one's, like, shunned me or anything, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the story about how I told them, um, I, I, if you're pregnant, I wouldn't suggest doing it over text, but my mom actually um, said later, she's like, I'm actually glad you told me over text because I was so mad and upset. It gave me time to cool down and I was like, oh, that's surprising. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's just a courtesy thing to tell people in person, but she was happy I told her over text um, as far as I know. But yeah, that's the story. Um, so now I wanted to answer some questions because I've been getting a lot of comments recently um, since I've been gaining um, a lot of new viewers. So the first question is from um, the day in my life at, like in high school video. Um, people are asking what the marks are on my stomach. Um, those are stretch marks since I'm pregnant. Um, they're hereditary. I have a lot. 
just from my belly growing really fast. I have really tight skin, so I expected this was going to happen. I had some before, um, like on my hips, but those ones are white now. But now my whole belly is red. <laughs> Um, but it's okay. I'm sure that they'll fade eventually. And then the second question is, where's my boyfriend? And my boyfriend, um, works full time to support, um, him, I, and a baby, uh, because we have a car and we plan on moving out together and we obviously need to get stuff for the baby. So he works full time, so he can't be in my videos when I'm filming because I would film during the day when there's lighting, but he works during the day. So that's where he is. And then another question was what ethnicity is he? Because I'm guessing people are curious what the baby would be. Um, as far as I know, he's Brazilian and Portuguese and then there's some other things in there, but that's where he gets his skin tone. But yeah, those were the three main questions I'm getting a lot. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. I try to respond to comments the best that I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little story. Um, I tried to block out that day <laughs> because, uh, you know, it was hard to tell my parents. So I probably am not giving every detail that I could because I don't remember or I just block it out or, or I don't want to say, uh, like I don't want to like read the text or anything because I feel like that's kind of personal. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to give a like, comment, subscribe. Um, my social media links are in the description below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.